Hello and welcome to this, our latest webcast for INMO members. We are recording this on Wednesday the 7th of December. As all members will know, the government in the first of the two budgets announced this week confirmed that the allocation for the health service for 2012 would be reduced by 543 million compared to 2011. In addition, the Minister has confirmed that there will be certain overruns in expenditure from 2011, which will mean that the overall reduction in, in allocation will be somewhat higher than that. This obviously is a matter of grave concern to the INMO, to you as frontline staff, and indeed it should be of grave concern to the general public. However, within that announcement, many, many questions remain unanswered. And that is why the INMO has written uh, to the Minister for Health seeking an immediate meeting with him in order to discuss a range of issues. That letter is available and can be accessed via our website. Uh, those issues concern the impact of the retirement initiative and the numbers who will leave in, by the 28th of February next, the impact of the recruitment moratorium in its current form, crude, unmanaged culling of staff. You can't run a health service like that. The need to, in, in, to introduce newly qualified nurses into the system and, and fill essential vacancies to expand the role of the nurse and minimise the need for NCHDs uh, and indeed to develop nurse and midwife led services. There is no clarity surrounding those issues and that's why we have sought a meeting with the Minister. We will, in response to that and in other meetings we'll be holding with the HSE, try to get the answers to those questions. But our key message at this time, we know these are most challenging moments and challenging times for you as frontline staff. But our key message to you is, one, we will endeavour to fill in those gaps, to answer those questions, to get clarity about the quantum of nursing and midwifery resource that will be available in 2012. But while we're doing that and throughout next year, your priority concern will be to practice safely. That is why we continue to develop tools which we will be publishing over the coming weeks that will allow you to constantly assess your workload to ensure that you can practice safely and by doing so maintain your registration. No lay manager, no senior manager can lift off you the burden, the obligation that exists to practice safely and to maintain safe care. And the INMO will be your partner, your 100% partner in doing that. So challenging times, yes, and we will only get through them by answering the questions ensuring nursing has a central and protected role in delivering frontline care and ensuring that every nurse practice, practices safely and we will give you the tools and the equipment to do so. Please continue to monitor our website, please continue to read our notices and we will update you constantly as the budget for next year becomes clearer, its implications become clearer and the need to practice safely remains paramount. Thank you.